And now let's place the shard that we created in the previous lesson inside the gallery. So we just need to hit Ctrl X for cutting and select the gallery and paste inside. Oops, let me do again. Select template and paste inside of it. All right, now we have the shard repeating for each element in our collection. Great. And let's understand how we can change this percentage value. And the percentage value is going to be um, the amount of the expense divided by the total of the expense for that budget. Okay. What we need to do is to change uh, the value right here. So 80 is the value that's going uh, that's is being used right now. So if we change here for 70, we can see that this changes. So we need to make this uh, dynamic responding to each element of our gallery. Nice. So what is the math that we need to do in order to achieve that? The expense of the item divided by the total amount of the budget, right? All right, how we get the expense of the item? This one is easy. If we insert the text in a label, we can already see the expense. So let me type here expense. So this is a number that we want to get the expense. And now we need to get the total amount for it. So it would be 300 plus 500 plus 1000 and so on and so forth. How we can get that? We need to leverage the formula sum with this filter. So the filter we have here is this one. Remember, we're filtering by the selected budget, right? So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going back to our formula. And now let's use these two elements right here. And we're going to leverage another formula called with. If you've never uh, seen the with formula, it allows us to store a piece of information and use back in our code when needed, right? So we're going to understand what I mean. Uh, with, we need to, the, the first argument is record, right? So what is the, the record that we're, we want to create? The, the field actually uh, is the percentage. Let's call this way percentage. And now the math. What is the math? Is this item dot category expense divided by. And now we're going to leverage the sum formula. Sum. And what we're going to sum is this collection, this filter collection. And what we're going to sum is the expense field. And we can close the brackets right here. Add a comma and let's close right here at the end. Great. And now we can use this percentage definition that we have here inside the data. Right. So remember, uh, this piece of code is text. So we need to do like this. and write percentage right here. And, and we're missing something. We need to make it here, times 100. And looks like we are doing right, all right? We have 16%, 26%, and looks to me that the total is 100%. So this is the formula that we need to uh, set